You can take it easy now, Ludlow. Say, Unc, when are we gonna stop? Hey, I don't remember hiring a scullery maid. Hey, you ain't no maid, Unc. I'm your niece, Rhonda. Remember? Well, I can only give you three positions a week, but you gotta work Saturdays, kiddo. Yeah, it's eleven. Well, here's as good as anywhere, I guess. Boss, I can't run no more. Can we stop selling glass slippers and get real jobs? Jobs? Ludlow, my boy, we are going into the tailoring business. We yeah? are? Boss, I don't know about this. This emperor guy might get so off we mess him over. Nonsense, my boy. It's run along now, Rhoda. We've got grown-up business to attend to. I'm Randa, Unc. Where are you going? You said you'd take me to the ophthalmologist once we got away from the lynch mob. Do I really need to wear this monkey suit? It's just all over. We must maintain your public image as fashionista supreme. Say, you with the glasses. What are you thinking of get up? No, it hardly becomes you, your highness. And her, Mattia be. I, your royalness, I am merely the advocate to the enchanted genius that is Ludlow Orville Fent, the greatest tailor in the entire world. I am? He is. Don't be fooled by his humble exterior, sire. His fairy godmother granted him the ability to weave the greatest fabric in the world. Ever form-fitting, ever comfortable, never garish. Sire, surely you're not considering listening to these vagabonds. Rigo, shut up! If you get it made before my mother's ball tomorrow, I'll pay you a thousand bazoozas. Boss, I don't know nothing about sewing up. <coughs> Relax, I get this covered. Your Highness, he's done it again! A masterpiece! God inspiring, isn't it? The unfortunate tragedy is that not everyone can see your radiance. The curse of the fabric is that it can only be seen by the refined and the educated. Naturally, since poor schlubs such as Lando and I can see it, yeah. <laughs> your royal majesty should have no problem viewing its splendor. Right. Uh, <coughs> right, of, of course I can. Sire, sire, the queen mother has arrived. I'll let everyone know about the royal magic suit. Magic suit? Of course, I can see it, can't you? Uh, naturally, your majesty. Ladies and gentlemen, wearing a kelp original so magically refined, it cannot even be seen by the crass and lowly rabble. Your ruler in mine, King Bensley the Second. Behold! Sweet lordy. Oops, um, uh, you, sire. Look at his face. This really worked out great, Kelp. Feels good. Even a little breezy. Thanks, Doc! I can finally see! Say, what's everybody staring at? Uh, what the heck kind of show is this anyways? Your people buy tickets to see a guy walking around naked or something? <laughs> uh, uh, pay no attention to the little urchin, folks. Read it, get lost. Rhonda! Gee, Unc! This bozo ain't got no clothes on! And as I was taught at St. Patrick's School for Child Tragedies, ya always tells it like to sees it. Jump in hard, Toads, Junior. Your father can see you now. <laughs> it's stage left, boss. Yeah, step on it, buddy. Somebody give me some pants. Honestly, Junior, being taken in by a trio of hoodlums at your age. Oh, ma. Yeah, it's, it's 11. 11.